Hey everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. Today I'm going to show you our new advanced filtering options that have been implemented into Axiom Examine. We've added the ability to perform advanced filtering with multiple search terms, proximity searches, and an include exclude function as well. Hopefully this will help you surface the data you need in your investigation that much quicker. So now let's take a look. I'm here in Axiom Examine. You can see I have a few different evidence items loaded in. I have a couple of hard drives and an Android device. This can be really beneficial to be able to use these features across multiple evidence sources. I'm going to switch over into Artifacts view. And in the upper corner, there is the search box where you can type in a term to filter on, just as before. However, once you click on the Advanced link, there are many more filtering options now available for you to choose from. You can switch between normal search strings and regular expressions if you click between these radio buttons. You can also decide here at the bottom if you want your filter to include searching within the source path. I'm going to exclude it for this example just to narrow down my results a bit. And then here in the middle, there's a ton of options now available to you. I'm just going to start with a simple filter. I'm going to uh, search for the term owl with no additional parameters. And you can see there's a ton of hits. There's over 4,000, which could take us a while to review. The search term is highlighted in the results so you can quickly see where that was hit on. Now if I want to clean it up just a little bit more, I'm going to go back into advanced and I'm going to make sure that it matches the case that I typed by clicking match case. In this instance, it will only hit on the word owl if the letter O is capitalized. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit search and let that run. And here are the results from that search. If I wanted to add an additional term to filter on, I can go back in and then say add another term. I'm going to uncheck the match case parameter here and now I want to see it, um, anything that has the word owl and also the word by in it. Notice that you can also select or under this field as well if you want to see anything that has either search term in it and you can also layer additional terms at the bottom here as well. So now I'll click search and I can start looking through the results. I'm going to click on this email and scroll through the preview over here uh, to see where that match actually was. So there's the match of by and scrolling down until, uh, there we go, we see the, see the hit for owl. So notice that the string OWL was a match, but it's actually contained within the word knowledge. It's not the word owl itself. To fix that, if we only wanted to see the word owl, we can go back into the advanced filters and select find whole word only. Now the results are very narrowed. It's only hitting on the terms that have the word owl in it, not as contained within another word like before. You can even see that email artifact is not showing because it's no longer a valid hit anymore. So suppose we only wanted to see these two terms within a certain proximity to each other. We can do that by going back into the advanced and I'm going to remove the word by from the bottom here um, and then select uh, is located near another term and I'll type in by in this box now. In the middle here, we can choose how close we want these search terms to be filtered on, either by words or by characters. I'm gonna select within one character of each other. So this will not show me any results that have more than one character between those terms by and owl, and the results are super, super narrow. The final advanced filtering capability I wanted to point out is this include exclude dropdown over here to the left. I'm going to uncheck this proximity search and say we wanted to see everything that does not have the word owl in it. I want to filter those hits out. In that case, I'll choose exclude. And now when I hit search, we'll see everything that does not contain that term. Notice at the top it says not owl and there won't be any text highlighted because all those terms are filtered out. So those are the major functions of our advanced filtering capabilities in the latest release of Axiom. Also keep in mind that you can see these advanced filters under the columns as well. I can right click in the column or I can also click on those three little dots there and then choose filter on column and select advanced and those options are available to you here as well. Hopefully these filtering features will help you narrow down your data and get to the evidence you need in your case that much more quickly. We hope you try it out and please let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.